Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is the purpose of using this keyword in Java? What is the purpose of using this keyword in Java? So guys, uh, very straightforward answer for this question that you can mention in the interviews is that the purpose of this keyword is to differentiate the instance variables from the parameterized variables of methods and constructors. Okay. The purpose of using this keyword in Java is to differentiate, okay, separate the instance variables. Instance variables means those variables which are declared directly under the classes and outside the methods or constructors are known as instance variables, right? So to differentiate such instance variables with the from the parameterized variables of methods or constructors, okay, from the parameterized variables of methods or constructors is is the actual purpose of using this keyword in java let me practically demonstrate to you to uh, confirm this statement okay you can actually understand this statement better when i explain it practically to you okay let me start explaining it uh, let me click here uh, we have already have some employees class inside this inside this first i will create a method guys okay i will first create a method uh, let me call that method as public uh, void method xyz okay some method xyz i am creating some general method i am creating and uh, here let's say we have some name string name okay here we have int h there are two uh, these are instance variables guys these are instance variables instance variables because why because why i'm calling this an instance variable because these variables are declared directly under the class and outside the methods are constructed that's why these variables are known as instance variables now this is an this is a method it has some parameters guys but the name of the parameters are equal to the name of the instance methods string int h these are the parameters guys okay these are the this is a method and this is a parameterized method having some parameters this name is equal to this name this age is equal to this age now guys if i have to assign the instance variable with the value that is there in the parameterized variable how to do that guys i have to say name is equal to name okay if i say name is equal to name i'm just thinking in my mind that this name is instance variable whereas this name is parameterized variable but there is a problem right i'm assigning the same it's like how can java think like this name is instance uh, variable name and this name is parameterized variable name it cannot think right there should be a differ differentiator between the instance variable and parameterized parameterized uh, uh, variables in this case when the names of instance variable e are equal to the names of the parameterized variables so to avoid such kind of situation java has given a keyword known as this keyword using which we can differentiate this instance variables from this parameterized variables even though their names are same so you just need to add this keyword okay before this name when you add this keyword this will become the instance variable of this class whereas normal variable will be the parameterized variable you see when i double click here it will locate the instance variable because of adding this now if i double click on the normal name it will locate the parameterized variable name okay so this name is instance variable now this name is parameterized variable similarly i can say this dot age is equal to h this dot age means this instance variable age normal age is parameterized variable h okay similarly you can apply the same this keyword to the constructors okay let's let me create a constructor public it should not there will not be any return type for constructor and the name of the constructor will be same as the class name so copy the class name and uh, create a such kind of thing okay now assume that even constructor has some parameters say with the same names okay if they have the same names like here name is there here name is there here age is there age is there even the data types are also same even the data types are also same now if i say name is equal to name okay uh, java will not understand which name it's an instance variable or it's a parameterized variable it will not understand that okay it will get confused just to differentiate the instance variable we have to add this keyword before the name this will locate the instance variable this will become the parameterized variable similarly this dot age is equal to age you can say but uh, 
there is a common question guys right uh, why we have to give the same names why we have to give the same names to this uh, instance variables and parameterized variables and why we have to go with this keyword right so the answer for that question here is the readability is more important than compromising the stuff guys okay so suppose you may think that uh, you, uh, you if you think that java will get confused if you give the same names the readability will be lost right if i give n here you cannot read it even though i can say name is equal to n here okay name is equal to n here the readability is got lost okay the code is not that much readable i have to give the proper names for the variables okay i should not compromise the names of the variables okay just not to compromise the names of the variables and to differentiate the ambiguities between the instance variables and uh, instance variables and parameterized variables java has given a keyword known as this using which you can separate the instance variables from the parameterized variables okay so at a high level you can directly state this answer guys the purpose of this keyword you can mention by stating that the purpose of this keyword is to differentiate the instance variables from the parameterized variables of methods or constructors okay this is a basic basic statement you can mention and if you have a good opportunity to prove yourself as part of that uh, adding more value to your answer you can take a paper from the interviewer and then uh, write down the code uh, for uh, this keyword okay and explain your in your own terms in this practical way as i have shown just now to you okay this will add a lot of confidence in your answer by for the interviewer so guys that's it thank you